decision tonight, but I don't know what the outside date would be. Uh, and you wouldn't be in favor of moving ahead because you need, I, I, I'm just trying yeah, to understand no. what is it that you need? Referring to Kathy's concerns. Oh, okay, that, thank you. That's what I was wondering. Cindy, okay. can you hear Dave okay? <laughs> we'll see what's on the tape. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> what, what is the actual motion? To <laughs> delay selling the <laughs> delay, table. Delay selling the Veterans Memorial Building. I don't. Is is that the motion? It's, it's the motion, the motion to, to delay, table. Delay the, the, the delay decision delay. right now, right? The decision, just, yeah. Just tonight. Now wait. Okay. We have a motion on. No, the motion was <laughs> the original motion. There's only one. There's only one. It's yeah. to table the decision until Kathy Angler's concerns are addressed. No, I thought there was an earlier. The table. <laughs> there was delay was the delay. word chosen, but delay. it's been converted to, to table. Well, then should have been oh. a discussion if it was to table. Right. <laughs> Oh. Ah. Right. I would have caught that if it was tabled. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what yeah, that, that term wasn't used. They delayed the, to to delay the yeah. Yeah. decision, boy. Yeah, yes. Um, you're, you're correct. Uh, if crazy. we were yeah. to delay it, I think we need to have a date. We can't what, what, indefinitely what, delay this. What, oh, what more are we gonna? Just, what more are we gonna find out? First. Right. What What other information are we gonna get that we haven't got? Right. We still have February first, so we don't. Right. A deadline. We have a deadline. We but can. we also have another meeting before the end of January. And we have to t discuss also if we were to sell it, why, wh what's the purpose of the closed bids? Why not just put it on the market? Let them bid. Let them sell. Wasn't that like just so that you don't have to post a for sale sign? That was to benefit? That was, that was partly. And I, I asked um, Attorney Morgan to provide any advantages or disadvantages, those alternatives. If <sighs> oh, yes. That would um, be great. <laughs> <laughs> There are, most normally, uh, you would probably uh, put it out, uh, uh, solicit bids perhaps uh, for a, a realtor to market it. Uh, if you are under a time crunch, you might want to uh, um, put it up with a, a sealed bid for, um, uh, with a due date of X. Uh, however, if you're going to do that, I'd suggest a couple of things. Always reserve the right to uh, reject every bid that comes in uh, and possibly consider having a, uh, a, a threshold bid um, and certainly uh, a, a threshold level of uh, proof that the person can con uh, go through with the sale. Um, you know, the problem with a sealed bid, frankly, is uh, getting a broad enough um, interest, uh, making sure that enough people that uh, have uh, the ability and the desire to, to acquire the property have knowledge of it. Um, that that the, that is a uh, issue that you'd have to address. I could conceive of uh, if there's a desire t uh, to... Um, uh, to, to move quickly to have uh, a limited term and, if, and then just reject it and put it out on the open market. Um, I, I think most often you see uh, property sold on the open market where you can uh, uh, evaluate all bids and get the highest and best uh, uh, price for it. I mean, that's really what this is. I mean, if we were a private landowner, not a city, we would not be having this discussion the private landowner would be selling the property and they would be listing it. The only reason we're having this discussion is because we are a city and that frankly, um, a, one could argue, does a disservice to the taxpayers because why are we treating this any differently? So I would expect that uh, in the final analysis, we'd probably put this on the open market would be my recommendation because I think you can get the highest and best value for the property. Um, so uh, sealed bids might be an advantage to um, uh, the buyer, uh, certainly, because they can gamble that they can get uh, it for less than the other buyers. Um, I don't know who that works out to be uh, uh, to benefit, but I, I don't know that it benefits the city taxpayers. And if the city was to put it up for sale, um, wouldn't it be proper to give a long-term tenant the right of first refusal? No. 
Not necessarily. No. I mean, we didn't put it in the lease. I mean, we could have bargained that. That certainly could have been part of, of uh, the uh, lease agreement when we did it. We certainly conceived that there might be uh, early termination. I'm not saying that you can't uh, do that, but you certainly should know what the, uh, the value that you want to realize out of it is. Uh, to do that, uh, I would suggest that you commission an appraisal. Um, uh, and, uh, but again, that's not in the lease, so there's no compulsion to do that. Uh, again, if I was a private uh, landowner and owning it, um, uh, I, I might offer it to my tenant because it might make it easier for me but I'd most likely put it on the open market. So I think some of those things maybe warrant a little more discussion by the I, council. I know how we sell it, I think, is the, the another layer of the onion. The first question is, are you yeah, going to sell it? Yeah, we have right. to make a decision of whether or not we sh shorten the lease term in order to sell the building. <laughs> But didn't we say earlier, I hear someone say that the lease would go with the building if it was sold, so yes. then mm -hmm. right. we don't yeah. have to shorten the lease right. because it right. goes? You, you could choose to sell the building as is right now and not shorten the lease. Um, as a general matter, that is going to affect the price um, because you are locking in uh, the, the, the buyer to a particular lease. That may be a market lease. It may not be a market lease. In fact, I, I distinctly recall a significant discussion at the time that the lease was established that it wasn't exactly a market rate. So that is going to limit <coughs> the uh, purchase price that you get because someone's investing it. That's what they would be buying it for in most cases, a commercial uh, uh, property like this, uh, someone's going to look at it as investment. And what is the value? They're going to look at what they can get uh, from their lease payments. And so if you're locking that up for an additional year, that's going to decrease uh, the value of this property on the open market. Or couldn't it increase it? If, they, if somebody purchases the building, they say, hey, I've got somebody in this spot till 2022. That's good. I've got income coming in. It is certainly a factor uh, that someone looks at. Now, you know, if I'm looking to buy an apartment building, I'm going to look to see, are these, uh, is it fully leased out? Right. Are they month to month? Are they uh, right. year-long leases? Are they market rate leases? Those are all factors. And one of my suggestion was that, that if, if it is not a market okay. rate, then that decreases what I, as a commercial sure. uh, investor, am looking to pay. Sure. If someone wants to buy it and put a business in there. Sure. Then it's then they you know with that that kind of a term that mm -hmm. also has an impact on it. So I am not in favor of um, redoing the lease. I think I think because of Kathy's business and the proximity with the school and how you work with the school, I think we need to make sure that we help protect you with your business and and the school year and that. I think that I think we need to help with so that. I that do, however, think that, you know, making the decision to sell or not to sell makes sense that we make a decision tonight everything else is just another piece of that decision. We're not making any more decisions other than do we sell it or do we, do we try to sell it or not? So, so just so I understand, you're suggesting that we just make the decision to sell the building or not and not necessarily That's what the, lease. the lease where there's the portion where we have to make a decision for early termination by February 1st. No, I... Because that makes it 2021. If we don't shorten the oh, lease term, it's 2022. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, thanks for the clarification. Okay. I think we need to make sure that we allow her the time. Sure, yeah. Well, Through to August of 2022, I guess was what I'm what? trying to say. I, I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I wasn't until Sarah did, it told me, I, and then I made sense to me. The if way if, if said you it. give notice of termination... We give notice of if termination. You, if you give a notice of termination... By one by February 1, it shortens the lease term up by one year. By if one year. Okay. Got it. I want to make sure that we at least have her have enough time in the center. I think, I think we that's, were... That's the next line item discussion. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see. Because I thought there was discussion on, well, maybe, you know, we couldn't sell it as well if we had a tenant in there, and I didn't want that to happen. Okay. 
Okay, the motion is to delay the decision to sell the Betts building. Well, well I, th I think the delay a decision on the committee's recommendation. Okay. Yes, would be how I'd phrase the motion. Was there a second? I there was. There was Debbie, yeah. uh, yeah. Ms. Olson, seconded. And as Candy just said, this, uh, these other things are, after we make this decision, more work to be done after that. So is there anyone at the council that wants to say anything more about delaying the decision of the committee? If not, the motion is to delay acting on the committee's recommendation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roll call. Issa. Delay, yes. Olson? Yes. Badke? No. Burdick? No. Braun? No. Davis? No. Motion fails. Two to four. Oh, would somebody like to make a motion that would do any other action on this? Um, I don't know what other action. The recommendation of the committee is to dispose of the property. Oh. Okay, so I guess the... Mm. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, the reverse would be to accept the recommendation of the, of committee. the committees. Correct. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Yeah, what was motion. that again? Motion to what? Accept the recommendation of the uh, Veterans Assessment Committee to sell, to, to sell the property. Yeah. So that's going to be part of the motion is to sell. Well, I think well that's, that their the that's their recommendation. That's their recommendation. Right. Yeah. It's just clear if it's actually right. stated in there. Yep. To me. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, discussion. Okay, discussion would be uh, uh, how do we discuss timing, um, how the process, all that kind of, what, what's that, that that's process? That's really the next item on the agenda. So we need to vote on this then? Well, I mean, that, that the... The next, no. the next item is the lease. The yeah. lease, yeah. So I, I guess that's my question. That, that affects the timing. Okay. So you oh, okay. So timing is one thing, but then what? I mean, the process. I mean, what, what are the next steps if we that, vote yes on this? That, those motion. really are not going to happen uh, this evening because uh, they're not. Right. And nor should they tonight. Right. But that's my question is, what are the next steps going forward? After acceptance, Cor if, if, if that's accepted, right? If that were to be supported, you'd uh, have to uh, uh, decide on a a, a a time to sell, a value to sell uh, method. The um, method. Yeah, you know, whether open or closed, on the market or off. You know, you know, and those come bids. at future meetings. I, I, Agenda it, items at future meetings, sir. But could the driver here is the lease that requires a notice. Uh, by February 1st, if you wish to exercise that right to shorten the lease by one uh, year. In one year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the best possible outcome the sale of the building in which Ms. Engler is the buyer? I, 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 <laughs> I, 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 I'm just saying that that is a consideration. Had we not heard a motion to delay, had we heard instead a motion to accept, we still would have gone through all of this clarification regardless. It still would have happened. And I think we've got clar clarity now that we didn't have back then, and it didn't matter. It really uh, could have gone the other way, where we accepted, and there was a second, and we had a roll call, and we had all this discussion, and we heard all the same things. Mm -hmm. It all yeah. would have happened. And, and now I'm, you know, I'm, I'm tending to think that uh, why rule out the possibility of Ms. Engler being the buyer? I don't think anything rules out the possibility. It doesn't. It doesn't. No. So in, that, in light of that, acceptance is a lot clearer now than it was mm -hmm. when the motion to delay came up. 
But I do like the question of what's next after yeah. the two items on the agenda. What's going to be our next steps? I like I think to hear that. Attorney Morgan listed, right. we, you'll have to decide how, <laughs> how you wish to sell the building. So that'd be on the next agenda. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if that would be Definitely. something we'd discuss in closed session because it's, it's this, you know, it's something that's subject to, you know, our negotiation and it's something that we would ordinarily, as you've heard me say, if we're going to have a discussion about the sale of our house, you know, with your husband or your wife, you're going to do that in the privacy of your kitchen. You're not going to do that out on your front porch where everyone can hear it. And that conversation could take place in closed session this evening if it's related to this topic, could it not? It could. It was up to the council. The provisions of the Robert's rules would allow for it if you wish. You just would not be able to take action on uh, such things and come out into open session if you were to do that because we have not noticed a uh, open session after a closed session. Is that session. something that w w would make sense to have the discussion at some point in the future and have Kathy Engler provide us with some of her feedback on what she feels would be councils always permitted to welcome uh, uh, whoever they like into a closed session I would, if they believe it would further well, their discussion. Well, whether it's closed or open. I mean, I, even if it's before <coughs> closed session, I would just like sure. to hear from her because she and her clients could be impacted. What are you looking at? Oh, tell me there's not a bat flying around here. <laughs> um, I just, I think it would be important to at least hear what um, could help her. So I, I would just request that, whether it's open, closed, whatever, I don't care. I just, coming before the council, I would like to hear what would be nice is if she had a list of questions or concerns or a list of something as, ahead of time. That as city manager read. indicated earlier, I am all in favor of having that list drawn up. So you'd prefer not to go into closed session tonight and well, take this into consideration? Or to would you rather no, I'd get rather some of these no. things for the next meeting or so? Yeah. Okay. yeah, I would like to hear. Oh, you know, I think from Kathy's perspective, I like the sealed bids. No, I think you ought to do the mar open market. I think th I don't like the for sale sign in front of my business, or I, it's okay, but I need a month to talk to my clients, or I just want to hear those types, those things those from her. Those things are on the list. To help you. us make yes. a good decision. Thank you. Okay. Motion and a second is to accept the recommendation of the Vets Building Committee to proceed with the sale of the Vets Building. Any further discussion here? Hearing none, roll call. Verdict? Yes. Ron? Yes. Issa? Yes. Davis? Yes. Olson? No. Radke? Yes. Motion passes five to one. Uh, next item is to consider taking action on the option to shorten the lease term in the Vets Bil Veterans Building lease agreement. Got a pretty good understanding of what this uh, what this could be. Is there anyone that wishes to make a motion anyway on this? I'd like to make the motion to table this until the ne our next meeting. Is there a second? I'm not opposed to tabling, so second. Motion and a second to table uh, this item until the next meeting. No discussion on that, so roll call, please. Olson? Yes. Issa? Yes. Davis? No. Radke? Yes. Burdick? No. Ron? <laughs> <Flip her. laughs> uh, yes. Motion passes 4 2. No more discussion on that item. 
Okay, that brings Stay us home. Stay table to the next meeting. Was that the motion? Right. The next meeting, okay. That brings us down to mayor, alder persons, and staff reports. Um, thank you all for being down here tonight. And uh, thank, thank you uh, committee members that showed up here again. Yes, thank for you. For all mate. the time you spent previously. I don't have anything else. I so. have something, Mayor. Could you please introduce Oh, oh, oh it's yeah. to us because I haven't met him yet. Uh, <laughs> Wasn't he at a okay. meeting when we appointed him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we're here. You're but I you. haven't met him. Okay, he well, has not been introduced in council. We do have one thing then. Oh, really? Howard, <laughs> Howard Moser, our new public uh, municipal services director. <laughs> 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 For those of you that have not met him. <laughs> And he has nothing to report because there's no snow. <laughs> <laughs> they were taking trees down, <laughs> picking up Christmas trees. <laughs> yeah. I think at the last meeting, someone said. Okay, we need a we need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. aye.